Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use iPhone footage with the slow-mo function in Reaper. So if we just play this clip, which was recorded with the slow motion function of the iPhone SE, um, it's going to be the same for the, the 6 and the 6S and the, the 7. It will play back with the speed changes when it's on the phone or when it's on the computer and you're uh, just previewing it. And if you open it up in QuickTime, it will play back with those speed changes intact. But if you play it in Reaper or if you play it in VLC, it's going to play it at original 240 frames per second. So I'm going to play this back. So it's a 240 frame per second clip, and there's this additional file called uh, one of these AAE files, and that controls what happens with the slow motion. And that's just telling the operating system, whether it's iOS or uh, Mac OS, what to do to play it back. But the actual clip is 240 frames per second. Drop it into Reaper, we'll see the same thing. We'll see that it is actually uh, 240 frames per second. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to disable this track so we don't hear it because it's totally blown out with the wind. If we look in source properties, you can see that this is 1280 by 720, H.264, and 240 frames per second. We don't need to worry about the audio in this because we're not using it. We need to set up a project to accept this footage. That means opening up the Project Settings, File, Project Settings. In this window, on the Video tab, we choose our frame rate, which is going to be uh, 30 frames per second in this example. Set our frame size to be the same, 1280 by 720. You could leave this blank. You could set this to 1920 by 1080. The project I'm going to be using this clip in is going to be a mix of 720 and 1080. I'm probably just going to keep everything at 1080. So the 720p clips are going to be stretched, but I'm only using them here and there, and it's not a big deal. Uh, and I always keep all these other options checked, just because uh, that's what works well on my system. Your mileage may vary. Notice that we're setting this to 30 frames per second instead of 240. This is a slow-mo clip. It's recorded at a high frame rate, so that it's played back at a lower frame rate or a standard frame rate, and that makes the footage slower. So I click OK, and I open up my video window. Something else we need to do here before we get started is to set our ruler to display hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So you right click and then you choose that from the list. The other thing we need to do is have our grid display frames. So we're going to right click on the grid button. Instead of quarter notes, we're changing this to frames. Close it. And when we have snap on, our edits are going to be on individual frames. All right, if I play this back, it's going to be at 240 frames per second. So that is what it looked like in real life. Their hair was moving very quickly. And that's not the effect that we want, but it, it, it's playing back correctly at least. Reaper always plays imported clips at their original play rate. With most video editing programs, it wants to use the project frame rate. So if you drop in a 240 frames per second clip into a 30 frames per second project, it's going to make that really, really long and stretched out and slow. We have to do it manually. It is pretty easy to do it in Reaper, uh, and there's actually a few things that we can you a little easier, I think, than others. So one quick way of stretching this out would be to just hold down Alt and drag it out. And the the actual amount doesn't really matter because we Reaper will handle this pretty well. So let's stretch out that 10 second clip to one minute. That's a, a rate of 0.17. Um, we can also double click and enter a rate, so 
2.5 would be one quarter of the original speed, which is a little bit faster than what we had. That's pretty slow. Uh, let me show you a different way. Okay, so I've reset this to a play rate of one. And let's say we want to start out at normal speed, move into slow-mo, and then back into regular speed. So we don't need the full clip. So I am going to uh, trim this to, let's say we just trim this to four seconds. We're gonna have one second of normal speed. I'm going to split it. I'm going to go to the third second and split it. And I'm just gonna move this to the side for now. Now this one, again, we can alt drag it out or we can manually change the play rate. Let's drag this out to, uh, let's say nine seconds. And then this last second will drop in at the end. And here's what we have. And that works pretty well. Uh, let's try it again, but this time using stretch markers. So I'm going to put in a stretch marker here. Let's right click, stretch markers, add stretch marker at cursor. So there's one there, and we want another one at three seconds. So stretch marker, add stretch marker. And there are shortcuts, of course, for this. And now let's say we want um, one sec second of slow down and one second of speed up. So we can put in another one right at two seconds just for convenience here. Add stretch marker at cursor. And now when I hover over this, let's zoom in here, hover over this, you get this shape here. You can pull that down and that will stretch. And because I'm making the rate longer, it's going to pull it down. So let's, let's go to 0 0.26 and pull this one to the same. Let's see how this looks going from play rate of one, ramping down linearly down to one quarter speed and then coming back up again to, um, to one X speed um, over a duration of about five seconds. So it's a little more subtle. I think I'd have to make that longer to do it exactly how I like. But it's pretty cool that it's it's so easy to do that. In Reaper, we have a lot of different ways of working with this footage. It is unfortunate that it doesn't just drop in and have what we set up in the phone um, automatically, but it works pretty well. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.